Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how long it takes oak firewood to dry and or what you call season. But before I do that, I have a, a helper out here. I got somebody, that's Bill Moon. What you got there, Bill? Iron and oak sticker. Iron and oak sticker. So Bill, uh, I hired Bill to help me with the video and then he's going to put that on the tailgate at the end of the video because I, my knee is still busted and I can't climb up on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, workbench to put it on the tailgate. So Bill, I'm gonna hand the camera over to you and you just keep me in the middle and I'll go through everything here. So what you, what you see here, we got uh, three red oak blocks and they are in different stages. Cause there are a lot of variables. You know, that's just such a broad question of how long it takes. You know, th th there's like so many factors, but I'm just gonna go over some basic, basic factors right now. This piece right here, this, it has totally barkless it this is what I call ready to burn wood it's dry this stuff I could split right now and, and put it in a truck or trailer or whatever and if somebody wanted to burn it tonight it would be just fine it takes oak like five years to lose all its bark when it's standing dead now this piece right here still has some bark on it but the, the, this side is barkless. It's a little bit heavier. This is what I call semi-seasoned semi wood. <clears throat> this has probably been dead for a couple years. This block right here, oh man, it's heavy. And that bark ain't coming off at all. Look at that. And it's a lot heavier than the other ones. And heavy means uh, water or you know moisture in it. Now, one thing I will say about about this semi or this uh, ready to burn dry stuff, it, it depends on the diameter. And if it's like at the top of the tree and like at this diameter, which is about seven or eight inches, this is fine. But if you start going getting logs like at the bottom of the tree, like this big around, you know, over I'd say 14 inches or 12, you know, 12 to 14 inches over that. The center is still going to be dry, but it, it should dry fairly quickly. So, like I said, I, have, I would have no, no trouble selling this and trying to burn it on the same day. Now, this, this stuff, I would say, usually semi-seasoned oak, I would like it to sit for um, at least I don't know, three to six months. Like I say, it all depends on how you put it. If it's like in a straight row like this stuff right here, this split would probably be ready in three to six months. This, and I don't know if any of you guys watch Ohio Wood Burners. He, uh, he despises oak because of how long it takes to dry. And I try to avoid buying, buying blocks like this. This stuff uh, Mike and I ended up cutting, but this stuff would need, I would say under perfect conditions, one year minimum. I've got some oak over here. This, this whole stack, I split on uh, Thanksgiving 2020. So it's been almost two years. And I look at it and it still looks like it's holding a ton of moisture. But I, I think because of how it was stacked here, but you know, in the summertime, we're not, we're not in, you can see the canopy, it's in shade. You wanna have it like, you know, that, you see the cherry we got there, like in a straight row like that, not under where the drip drip line is, but the uh, you know oak has it, it just it just takes so long to dry, and uh, so I try I try my best I, I take this or this this on a you know depend if it's free or real cheap you know we got some of it Mike and I got some over there you see that little pile there on the ground that that stuff. Actually, we split, Mike split this. This was back in, uh, probably in May. That stack right there, I would not sell that until uh, the fall of 2023. That's how long that oak is gonna take to dry. So there's, there are many factors when it comes to determine it, but, but my general rule 
ready, there, you, can, you can go out in the woods and find oak that's ready to burn, but it's gotta be, you know, this size at the top of the tree, barkless for four or five years. Semi-season can be ready in three to six months. The green takes uh, 12, 12 months or more, depending on how you have it stacked. It, you may be able to burn it in, the, in less than a year, but you'd have to have a full summer and under direct sunlight. So that's what I got to say about that. I think uh, now I'm gonna have uh, Bill put that sticker on the tailgate for me. So if you wanna hand over the camera to me, Bill, and uh, we'll uh, take a quick walk into the, uh, into the pole barn. Oh, and uh, by the way, I just got back from town and I just uh, handed my mechanic $3,800 for the truck and another thousand for the repairs it's gonna need. It's gonna need a front wheel bearing. It's gonna need a transmission fluid flush. It's got a gas leak. And uh, he's, gonna put, he's gonna put bigger shocks on it because uh, I, I wanted leaf springs, but he said, let's try the bigger shocks first. It's cheaper and maybe, maybe you really don't need that. So I said, well, well, we'll go for it. So I didn't have to give him every penny that I had. So I got some, just in case some other repairs come up. So, all right, we're back here in the barn at the revered tailgate. Hey, Bill, who put on that? Who put on the JPF for sale and that? Who did that for me? That was one of our first jobs for you. That'd be Backspin Graphics. If you guys need it. And, and uh, how many of these stickers did you make? Looks like you made all uh, the... Um, Larry, Larry Hoddle and Larry Cluck. So he, he's, he made those and Bill, you will be making the new uh, art for, for the truck. So yep. put that on your list to develop. So let's get one look at this. All right, I'll get back and just climb up there. Be careful. We don't need another workman's comp claim. <laughs> kind of try to wipe it off a little bit, you know, uh, in front of there. Yep, spider webs. Yeah. Yep. All right. And just for everybody's thing, this is how I do stickers. I take it and I fold it right in half. So you have a uh, something you can hang on to. Okay. So you don't touch the sticky part? Uh, try not to. You yeah. can touch it a little bit, but okay. the less. And then you just put the top on. And then pull the bottom. I should have stuck it closer, but. Yeah, because uh, we got well, there's more stickers that go on there, Bill. Why don't you go ahead and. Uh, Show a close-up of, of his sticker and of iron and oak. They are out of Pennsylvania. And then just kind of go through the whole list up there of all of them. And uh, like I say, we got, uh, oh, better show a, yeah, <laughs> Paul's. So I got a new one for that with uh, yeah. with, with Trump saying Biden uh, uh, did oh, that. Yep, yeah, <laughs> or, or the bicycle one. So. Thanks, Bill, for helping me out yeah. with that. I know, I know uh, Chuck and Deb uh, are gonna appreciate that. I, actually, I, I got over here on the splitter, I got one other sticker of theirs on, uh, on the east and mid. I don't put too many on this. And uh, Bill, Bill also made this, <clears throat> made this sticker. And I'll put a link to Backspin gra Graphics if you, uh, if you want, but B Bill also made that one for Iron and Oak, so. So I think uh, that, that's gonna be it. I, I appreciate everybody who made it to the end. If you could uh, check out some of these videos here on the end screen if you haven't seen them yet. And uh, give her a thumbs up. And hopefully I have my truck soon. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you at the next one. Bye Bill. See ya.